Hello everyone, Wanna Top Cat here, finally back with a, uh, another video, and today we're going to be doing how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Um, now if you want to do anything else, you can obviously go into hardcore mode. Um, hardcore mode is, is pretty hard, you one get one life, and your world, as soon as you die, is completely deleted. There's no way of getting it back. Uh, and then you obviously have creative, and um, yeah. Also, you have generating structures, and you also have your super flat. And also, in um, depending on when you're watching this, you may also have the large biomes as a world type. But for now, I'm in 1.2.5. So until then, um, that's the only thing we have. We're going to be doing today a um, how to survive your first night. All right. Uh, so, yes, Minecraft will lag in the beginning, and, uh, of course, uh, as all 1.2.5 maps are, we're going to spawn in a, uh, a crappy snow biome. So, the first thing you want to do is locate a tree, um, and, um, we can start up from here, that way in case, um, there's more up here we can jump up without having to actually place <coughs> a block. Let's, let's do this. And no, Minecraft is not realistic. This is your first time playing. Welcome to the world. Alright. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to just get a couple of trees. You want to get about 10, uh, 10, 10 to 20 tr um, trunks. Um, you don't need 20, but if you want to be on the safe side, if you want to build a huge house for your first night, which, which I really don't recommend. I recommend um, taking about 10. That's what I usually take. Um, just because that gives you, like, plenty to, um, build a house and, um, plenty to make all of your tools. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put all the blocks there, and that'll give you wooden planks. Now shift, and then left click, and that'll give you all of them at once. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a crafting table. So just put all four of these here, and hit, there you go. And now we're going to make a s couple of sticks like that and that'll give us about eight sticks now we're going to place this down here and we're going to make what uh, is called a pickaxe um, basically in minecraft when you craft something you gotta kinda draw it out so i mean you can't just like, place random things everywhere they have to look somewhat different so uh... wooden pick now can you guess how a wooden axe would go it would it, it, it would look like an axe as you can, you can see um, and now, that's all we need. And we're going to mine this up. Use your fist. You don't want to wear down your axe. Especially wooden tools. They will go by um, incredibly fast. Um, now, the wooden axe will speed up how long it takes to mine uh, all, all of the wood. Uh, as it is an axe. And this will, in turn, let us start finding uh, cave systems to let us get some coal. Now we don't want to really encounter any mobs at this point. Uh, also make sure you check uh, and look out for all of, uh, you know, a chance of anything spawning while well, that is some weird snow. Anyway, so we're going to look up uh, random lag spike. Awesome. Um, hold on. Uh, let me just... Alright, I like to turn clouds off by the way, because I, I just don't like clouds. They're not... I'm sorry guys this is doing that um, it's been a while since I've made a video and I just haven't fixed fraps yet uh, so don't worry about that now what you want to do is you see that little black ore there that is that is coal um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to in this case climb up here and go and find it and um, they, they'll usually be in um, some big groups as with everything my luck I get one <laughs> uh, but look for mountain sides like this these will usually indicate where there's coal or at least help you find coal um, coal all you need um, we only need about two or three coal and at bare minimum we could always just have one it's basically just torches so that you can see in your house now if we can find it but we're in a snow biome so it'll probably be pretty hard we want to find a sheep 
us will allow us to uh, sleep in our house, thereby fast forwarding the night. Um, beds were added in 1.3. As well, um, let's play this on to do normal since <coughs> I've been playing on hard. Uh, uh, pigs here, um, uh, you pigs will give you food. Now, if, if, if you don't hit them fast enough, they will run away. And that one guy gave me two pork. Um, and also, see here, um, this is what you want to look for. Stuff like mountains exposed like this. I can already see, I think that's coal. Yeah, see, we hit a huge pile of coal. Um, now, you want to mine all this up. Now, there's two options you, you can do for your first night. One of them is build your own house, which if, you've, if you're fast enough at getting all your resources, you can do. If you're not fast enough, which is what we're going to show you in this video, um, <clears throat> then you're going to want to follow the steps I show you. Where we're going to basically dig into a mountain and set that up as our temporary home. Uh, you can dig into pretty much every mountain. Um, this is more than enough coal that we'll need. And also leave a couple over and just mark the spot with something that you'll remember. If you want, put a pile of dirt. Just something that'll make, or uh, just keep a note of that in your head. Um, and now in this case, this is a, one of the perfect spots that we're going to do. So we're, going, so we're going to dig in. Oops. Always have your pick for mining. I'm going to keep digging in here. And we'll go dig this way. And now what we're going to make is a torch. Now we're going to take a stick, and we're going to take two coal. This will give us about eight torches. Now, if you place a torch, just by right-clicking, uh, it will light up your room, um, making sure that monsters uh, don't spawn when you're outside mining, because they won't spawn while you're inside your house, because they have to be... Monsters won't spawn within a bit about 15 blocks of you. So as long as you're in your house, they will, they're guaranteed not to spawn. But the second you leave and you get 15 blocks away, if you don't have proper lighting, they can spawn. And then when you come back, you'll have a zombie fest going inside your house. Uh, so what we're going to do in this case is we're just going to plant down our uh, our bench. And also, constantly make sure... Well, don't constantly, but uh, look outside. Uh, now, right now... You can tell what time it is because the sun will set. Um, I don't know if the sun sets to the west or the east. If I don't know if it's like real life, but anyway, if the sun is high in the sky, that means it's about twelve o'clock. So right now it's more about like two-ish. Um, you'll have about I think ten minutes of uh, of uh, daylight. I'm gonna put a torch there to mark my path. And um, I'm going to kill these guys so I can get some food. Your food bar, uh, which is in the... About where you see my food and everything there. Look in the lower, like the middle, middle, middle uh, right. You will, you will see that. And that is basically um, your food bar. You don't want to let that get down or else you will start to die. And also, there, there's something called critical hits in Minecraft. Now, if you jump and you hit them while you're in the air, you'll get a critical hit. You can tell if you get a critical hit by special... Um, see, like that? Those little sparkles that came out of them? That's how you tell if it's a critical hit. Now, in this in this case, we haven't found any sheep. Um, so what this means for us is we're going to take the little bit of time that we have left. And um, we're going to mine all this up. I'm going to get, get as many trees as you can. Um, don't be wasteful with the trees. Uh, go to a tree every once in a while and get the saplings from them. That way, especially if they're in a very viv uh, a very black area with like no trees or anything, go back and look at the trees that you've cut down. Like I'm going to go back to this one. Uh, there's not a guarantee that saplings will spawn, but there's a pretty good chance one will spawn. <coughs> <coughs> fell into a cave. Just be careful. Always look where you're going. Alright, so we're we're not going to worry about that tree for now. Let's get back into our house and let's start eating. Now you see 
the more you run, the faster your food bar, which is over there. See how it depletes when you're jumping and running? And um, especially in the beginning, your food bar will go by very fast. And you might not even realize it sometimes. I, I have a bad habit of it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a furnace. Now, this will be used to cook that raw pork chop into um, a cooked pork chop. Now, that will give us more uh, food bars than a raw pork chop. So this is how you do make a, um, a furnace, just put uh, eight cobblestone in a line all around the edge. Don't put anything in the middle. Now we're going to take that in, and we're going to place that down right next to our crafting bench. You can do this however you want, um, and I'm going to actually lower the music because it is a little overpowering me. Alright, so let's put in some coal, and we're going to cook the pork chop. Now another thing you can do is cook not wooden planks, like regular wood that you get off the trees, and use that and uh, cook that to make charcoal, which I will show you in another part of this video. Uh, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a uh, cobble stone, or a stone pickaxe. This will give us faster mining and they're also going to be less vulnerable to breaking. All tools in Minecraft will break, this buys what anyone tells you. Even diamond tools will break, um, unless you're enchanting them with un uh, with unbreaking three, um, they will break. Now, as you can see, the sun is setting. Now, at this point, if you're not indoors, build yourself a cubby hole immediately. Um, monsters will spawn the second um, you'll you will notice very shortly. This will become infested with monsters. Um, it's best to do it like this because now we have a door uh, we can see outside. Now this is going to be a very, very long night because we didn't get a bed. Um, as you'll see though, outside, it's also good to keep uh, a good amount of torches near the house so that nothing does spawn, which I'm going to actually do that really quick. Don't do this um, when nighttime falls. Do it beforehand. Don't be like me. But this does help. Um, Keep them from spawning near you, that way when you come out, you're not like, whoa, overwhelmed. Uh, so I'm just going to check something real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so as you can see, now we have our cooked pork chop. Now if we just hold right click. Um, oh, and I guess I should also explain this. Um, when you're mining... You don't mine like this. See, like right now, you hear I'm, I'm clicking my mouse. You don't want to do that. You just want to hold it like this. Just one solid click. That's all you really want to do. Um, every once in a while, look outside um, and make sure there's uh, nothing coming. Now, if we want, we can expand a little bit during the night. We got one torch left. So we can expand maybe this way, that way, whatever. Just don't get exposed to the outside. If you dig too far, eventually you'll come to the outer point of the world, at which that point um, you'll be exposed to monsters. Now, um, this is a good example of, this is a good bright house. Nothing should spawn in here. And uh, in the event that it does, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make... Uh, a stick, which is two wooden planks like that. And I'm going to go into my crafting bench, and I'm going to show you how to make... Ooh, that's my furnace. And I'm going to show you... Oh, really? I just dropped the sticks. How to make a sword and a shovel. A sword is pretty simple. A sword is just taking two pieces of building material, either wood, um, cobblestone, iron, or diamond. Or, unless you're using mods, whatever the mod uses. Um... This will make a stone sword in this case, since we have cobblestone. You can make an iron sword and a diamond sword. Diamond swords do the most damage. Um, iron swords just last longer than stone swords. I'm not sure how much of the, the difference is as far as power. I know there's a little more, obviously. But also, um, iron is a good tool because iron is a lot less rare than other tools. Or than, like, diamond. And they're easy to come across. Um, cobblestone is obviously the most effective way, but they're not, they take too long to mine through stuff, and, um, they can wear down pretty fast. 
Um, so right now we're going to just take a quick look outside. There's a that's what you call just make sure something else coming. Uh, that is a zombie. Now a zombie in 1.2.5 as that little green thing over there. Um, zombies are they they will um there's there's all traits of mobs in Minecraft. You have your um, your gas, which are found in the nether, which we'll, we, we will show you how to survive in the nether. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll discuss this in the, um, I don't know what part we're on at this point. I'll be splitting this, this video up into parts, because it'll be way too long. Um, anyway, so as I was saying, um, from this point, that is a zombie, and, uh, so let's, let me just start over. Ghasts are found in the nether. Um, ghasts are very big creatures and they destroy a lot of land because they shoot fireballs. Um, and and they, they, they probably will kill you. They're, they seem to be a lot more vicious in, in multiplayer, I've noticed. I don't know if that's just me, but then again, I've, I don't really go into the nether that much unless you just want netherrack. Um, the next mob, we're going to be discussing things in the normal world from now on. No more nether. Um, we have zombies, skeletons, uh, endermen, uh, creepers, and spiders. Let's discuss all of them. Zombies are um, aggressive mobs in day and, and night. Um, in 1.2.5, the AI has changed so that during the, um, the day, during the day, they, they will... Um, catch on fire except for spiders um, who can live in the day and are not aggressive during the day unless you hit them but anyway um, so when they are you know in the daytime now they will go to to shade or, or some tree um, or something to, to basically hide them in, 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 um, in darkness so that they don't die Next up are skeletons, and by the way, um, zombies will only hit you when they're close. Um, the max distance they can hit you from is is one. Like if I'm standing here, the zombies right there. That's the maximum distance he can hit me from. Is if his feet are right there, he can't hit me from over there. Um, although there there will be glitches in multiplayer where you see him over there and he'll hit you, but that's just lag. Um, the next up is a skeleton. Skeletons use. Um, bows and arrows, and bows and arrows can hit you from a pretty far distance. Um, just gonna take a look, find, and, um, they can hit you from a pretty far distance. Uh, they, they make a weird, um, noise with, like, bones crunching. You can, you can usually hear them in caves, and zombies will make a, like, a roar kind of sound, like a normal zombie would. Uh, next up are creepers. Uh, creepers are the worst thing in this game. They are horrible. Um, they will—they are completely silent until they start to explode. They will make a 